Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing for you some of the Primark and iHeart Revolution makeup collection. If you haven't seen my collection video already, I will leave that link to below where I basically showed you everything that I picked up from the iHeart Revolution and a new Primark range. I have decided to pop all of my iHeart Revolution and Primark collection in these Primark makeup drawers just so I can keep it all together. And I think it does look really cute in here, so if they do have any more launches, I'll probably try and fit it all in these drawers just so it stays together. As I said in my collection video, Video, I will be doing a testing video with everything that I picked up and today I'm going to be doing a testing video with the iHeart Revolution and Primark Love Palette which I'm so excited about because we haven't seen anything like it before and it is the thing that sort of drew me to the collection so I'm very excited about that. I have also got a little highlighter that goes with it and then I've also got a little lip gloss from the Juicy collection. I'm going to start with the lip gloss. This is the Juicy Watermelon Lip Gloss. It has got some shimmers in it. I'm hoping you can see them on camera. It's basically a clear lip gloss but it's got sort of red green reflex in it. You can kind of see it down the bottom there. The fruity range was quite large in Primark but I preferred the chocolate range but I did want to give something a go from the fruity collection just to see what it was like and I picked up this lip gloss. This lip gloss does retail at £3. They had loads of different colour options. I went with the clear glittery one just because I like that kind of thing so I'm going to sniff it. I am interested to see if it smells like watermelon. I can smell a slight hint of watermelon. The doe for applicator is absolutely massive. I do absolutely love lip glosses, so I'm very excited to give this a go. This is something that I'd probably throw in my work handbag if I like it. So I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. Obviously, I know this is slightly weird doing it on the back of my hand, but I just want to see what it looks like. Hopefully you can see there is some reflect on there. It is basically just a clear gloss, so you could get away with it for work or school or anything like that. It does look cute. I can definitely see the shine on it now. I hope you can too. And on the back of my hand, I can definitely smell the watermelon more. I don't know how long that stick has been stuck to my arm, but we'll just throw that over there. The applicators are quite nice actually. It feels very fluffy and spongy. And the gloss kind of has an oily tint to it. I feel like this is more of a lip gloss oil kind of thing. I'm really hoping you can see the glitter in here, but I don't know if it's picking up on camera. I can definitely see it in real life. And it smells amazing. It's definitely giving me lip gloss, lip oil vibes, so I'm happy with that. It's definitely something I'd throw in my work handbag. And yeah, I really like that. I think for £3, it definitely is iHeart Revolution. There's no Primark involvement there. It's definitely full iHeart Revolution. It feels quality. It feels nice. It smells amazing. I think because there's a load of colours that you could have chosen from, I think there is something for everybody. There were a couple that had tints to them as well, so some people might like that. That was the Juicy Watermelon Lip Gloss. Next, I'm going to go in with something completely brand new. We haven't seen anything like this for my hot revolution before it's the highlighter there were two of these as i mentioned in my collection video there was a gold tinted one but i preferred this pinky one it looks really cute so it's called the love triple pink highlighter that's what the packaging looks like it did retail at three pounds fifty and then the packaging it does remind me of poly pocket which i really like about i hot revolution and as you can see it's got three shades on the inside i do think if you ran your finger or your brush over the center shades it'd be more silvery gold toned and then if you want the pink shade you can grab the outside as well. Generally what I'll do is swirl it around the whole product pan. What I'm going to do is just swipe my finger across like that. Oh it is champagne pinky tinted. It does look really nice. I think I am wearing pink highlighters quite a lot at the moment and this is something that would look really cute in spring summer and it does look really nice. I like the reflect of it and it does look very bright so we're going to pop this on my cheeks now. I do like the multi-toned highlighters too because if you don't suit one shade you might suit another. Generally, I like to just swirl my brush in the whole thing. I am just going to use my viewfinder now. So I have got highlighter on underneath. Whoa, that's very, very bright. That's the highlighter I had on previously. I probably should have not had any on. But that has taken it tenfold. That's so bright. That's luminous. <laughs> I'm going to do the same on the other side. So just apply it over here. That's beautiful. <laughs> I definitely think highlighter and blusher are my favourite parts of my makeup routine and when I've got my hair up like this I like to pop some just on the corners of my forehead like that. That's so bright. So far I think this highlighter was very impressive. I'm I'm just impressed. That's the word for it, I think. It's very blinding, very glowy. And I think actually, whereas before I was querying the £3.50 price tag, I think actually that's pretty blue and beautiful. I'm happy with that. 
And I definitely think this is a good one if you are a collector of makeup like myself. Obviously, I only ever buy the things that I really love and I do it for YouTube as well. But I think this is definitely a little one-off limited edition for iHeart Revolution. I think it's really cute. And like I said, if you want a more gold-toned one, there was one of those as well. So far, I'm very happy with the lip gloss and the highlighter. Let's move on to the eyeshadow. This is the iHeart Revolution Love Palette. It was retailing at £8. It is a nice size. And the packaging of this, I just love it so much. As I said before, I think the letters on it looks like a 4D number plate which I am all here for and I think it's really cute. Inside you do get a full palette size mirror and as soon as I saw the press launch photos for this collection this is the palette that I wanted to literally run down to the shop and get. It's so me down from the packaging to the shades inside. I really like the marble effect and I definitely think this is a daily sort of eyeshadow palette. You could get away with that for daily work looks and then you've also got that pop of colour in there which I really like and I can't wait to try it out. I'm definitely excited to see if it is the normal Eye Heart Revolution formula. As I've said before there isn't actually anywhere on these products that says the word Primark so I do feel like it's full I Heart Revolution and I'm very excited to give this a go. I think this does look like a very cute springy summery eyeshadow palette so let's do the swatches. This is the I Heart Revolution Love eyeshadow palette. The pans look like this and the swatches look like this. Just to let you know if you're new to my channel I do have a fear of the inside of my wrist which is why my swatches are on the top just so I can do a makeup videos like I love. I have to say this eyeshadow palette is making me smile so much. It's exactly what I wanted. I am so excited. I think the pinks look absolutely beautiful. The shimmers are really nice. I'm really drawn to this sort of section here. I think these two are my ultimate favourite. I'm so excited and then the gold shade as well on the inside near my wrist is so cute. I just love it. I think a perfect spring summer eyeshadow palette. So excited for this. Let's get it on my eyes. And I definitely have a feeling that this could be one of my favourite ever iHeart Revolution eyeshadow palettes. And looking at this little love palette and these swatches, I'm so excited. I genuinely think this could be one of my favourites, so I'm excited to try it. I am going to take this shade here, which is just this marble effect pink, and it's really pretty. I'm going to form a wing with this colour. I'm just going to brush the shade lightly on the outer corner just to form a wing shape. And so far from the look of this, it is a genuine I Heart Revolution formula. I'm very used to this kind of thing. It's a very pretty shade. I haven't actually used a marble effect shade before, so this is exciting. I feel like as well with the Love collection, it did kind of look like a Valentine's type thing. I know Love is meant to be all year round, so maybe it's not. That's so pretty because it's got a sort of silvery shade going through like a marble effect. It's having a metallic sort of silver shine as well as the pink. It's so pretty. And like I said, this is applying really well. I'm having no problems with that. It's beautiful. And from looking at the press photos, I was just so excited to get hold of this one. If you are new to my channel as well, I'm still working out whether I should be looking in this mirror or looking down here. So if I'm switching between the two, just bear with me. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. These don't actually have shade names, do they? No, they just have numbers on the back. And I am definitely excited to try out the chocolate palettes too. Obviously, those testing videos will follow this one. And I am a huge fan of I Heart Revolution in general. If you are already subscribed to my channel, you will know that. So having this brand collaborate with another favourite brand, Primark, this was so exciting. And I know lots of people were excited by this launch because I know it's got a couple of their chocolate bar palettes that we've seen very similar of before. But because they've come out with new things like this as well, it's just so exciting. And I think probably with I Heart Revolution moving from Superdrug to Primark, if that is what has happened... Primark's going to get a lot of footfall and probably a younger audience as well. So it's going to be reaching more people, which is probably what they want. That colour is beautiful. It matches my top quite nicely as well. I had to go for something pink and glittery today, but I am loving that pink. That's the outer corner finished. I am just going to take a fluffy brush now. So just this one here, and I'm just going to run it slightly up the corner of the wing. This is just going to get rid of any harsh lines and excess shadow. And this mirror is actually really good. <laughs> That highlighter though, whoa. <laughs> and of course, I won't be able to use every shade today, but I'm just gonna create a cute look and I will go back to this palette as well. So I will do a revisited video and probably from the looks of this, I think it's gonna be one of my favorites. So you'll probably see it a lot. Next, I'm gonna go in this shade here. It's just this baby pink. 
and I'm just going to dab that on the centre of the lid. That's almost blended instantly. <laughs> That's a really nice formula. That's so pretty. I have literally had to do nothing. It's blended really nicely. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And the pigment is really nice. It's such a cute sort of feminine little palette. I really like it. I am actually going to take that baby pink shade again and just pop it on the inner corner. Basically, because I've liked it so much, I'm going to take it over the rest of the eye. That's so pretty. And it is applying really nicely. I think this colour is stunning. It's so pretty. I'm really happy with what I've got in my eyes so far. I am going to go in this shade here, which is just this sort of shimmery pink. For that one, I'm going to take my little finger and I'm just going to dab on the inner corner like that. And then the same on the other side, just using it as an inner corner highlight. I am going to do the same again. And then I'm just going to pop that on the inner, inner corner like this. I just feel this opens the eye quite nicely. And then I'm going to take a blank finger and just sort of blend that upwards. Next, I want to go in this gold shade. It's so pretty. And I think I'm going to pop this on the centre of the eyelid just to get a little halo effect. I am going to use my finger for this. I'm going to slightly dab the gold colour over the waterline just to get a little bit of a glow and I'm gonna do the same on this side I do feel this is a romantic looking palette definitely would suit Valentine's Day and the shades are buildable as well because the more I've decided to put on it is just increasing the pigment which is nice it's not moving the other eyeshadows around my eyelid which is good really like that. I'm going to take my fluffy brush. I'm just going to dab slightly over the gold I've just placed. I'm going to take my waterline brush and we're going to go in this darker shade here. So it's just this brown. I'm just going to drag that under the waterline. I definitely think this palette appears to be a part of the chocolate collection. The chocolate collection is definitely my favourite range for my Hot Revolution. I just think it's so much fun and the quality is amazing. So I'm going to do the same on the outside. And just used it to form the wing slightly as well. I think that's really nice. Just going to use my clean fluffy brush just to get rid of any fallout. I am actually going to go in this shade here which is the purple marble because I want to try and put it on the outer wing. It does have a gold sort of tint to it so I'm going to try that now. I'm going to take my waterline brush to do this and I'm just going to pack it slightly on the outer corner and then drag the metallic out to the wing. That goes really nicely together. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I think this metallic purpley kind of marble effect brings a bit of depth, which I like on the outer corner. And the metallic shine it has is really pretty. I'm going to take my fluffy brush and just dip in this shade here, which is kind of like a transition shade. And then for this, I'm just going to drag that in the crease slightly. And then the same on the other side. I'm going to take a clean brush now and just do circle motions just to blend that out slightly. I'm going to take a little bit more of this pink and I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner like that. And then the same on this side as well. Just because I want to brighten up that inner corner. <laughs> and then I use a clean finger just to blend it like that. I really like all these shades together. Just because I really like this gold colour, I love the shine. I'm going to take my waterline brush again. And I'm just going to take that across the lash line. I'm just going to take the I Heart Revolution Peaches and Cream Fixing Spray. I'm just going to dampen my brush slightly. And then I'm going to dab that colour on the waterline. Sometimes with shimmers, a setting spray or a setting mist on your brush really does help bring the colour out. And I think with this one, it definitely has. It just makes these shimmers or metallics more poppy, which is what I want for this. I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush in that purpley pinky marble shade again. And just for one last bit, I'm going to dab slightly over the lid and then the same on the other side. And then finally, I'm going to go back in this little pink shade. I just feel like where I've been messing about with the other colours, I've kind of lost some pink. Put some of that back in. 
that's my finished look with the love eyeshadow palette i really like this i'm gonna pop some mascara on and then we're gonna hear my thoughts as it's iHeart revolution i'm gonna go in with the chocolate dipped mascara this is what the wand looks like and it's just a part of their normal chocolate range That's my finished eyeshadow look using the Love Eye Hot Revolution and Primark palette and also the Little Love highlighter and then the lip gloss as well from the Fruity range. I absolutely love this. I think for starters, the lip gloss feels really nice. To me, it definitely feels like a lip oil lip gloss hybrid, which I'm all here for. I love it. It smells amazing as well. It has got a little watermelon scent and the shimmers on it are really nice. I'm not sure if they're picking up on camera or not, but it's definitely shimmery. If you get the chance to look at this in person, I would recommend it and if you wanted a different shade they did do a few as well and it feels really nice on the lips i'm definitely going to be popping this on my dressing table and probably throw it in my work bag as well just so i can grab something as for this little highlighter this is the love triple pink highlighter they did have a gold one but as i said i went for the pink one because i felt it went with this palette really well it's beautiful i mean that's blinding i'm over the moon with that i think for three pounds fifty it's lovely the packaging is really cute and the product itself worked really well although it is a small pan i think this would last quite a long time like i said for three pound fifty and for it being a collectible i think it's worth it definitely feel this lives up to the normal quality of iheart revolution so i'm happy with that and finally my favorite thing i picked up i think i don't know because i haven't tested it all yet but i'm probably thinking this is my favorite this is the love palette not only is the pack packaging absolutely adorable the quality of the shades inside i was so impressed with i'm really happy with this look i like the fact that it's different from what they normally do it's a completely different sort of packaging outer casing and then the marble effect made it really unique as well definitely think this is one for the collectors if you like this kind of thing and the pan sizes are huge as well so it's the size of two fingertips there so you are getting a lot of product for the eight pounds i'm really happy with this and the swatches as well are beautiful i'm really happy with the color story of this i think the shimmers in here it were really nice i really love the golds and the pinks together i just think this is beautiful it can be a spring summer fun palette but i also think you could wear it for work and it would look quite neutral but i really love the pink look we did today i'm definitely going to be trying this again as well so if you want to see that then please subscribe that was me testing the first couple of things from the primark and i Heart revolution makeup collection i hope you've enjoyed it overall so impressed with these and cannot wait to try the next palettes i have the chocolate bar palettes as well if you want to see that then please stick around what are your thoughts on the I Heart Revolution Primark collection? So far, I'm very impressed and I can't wait to see if they bring anything else out. I don't know if this is going to be a one-off or if they're going to do different drops, but I've got my little set of acrylic drawers ready in case they do bring other things. I did only pick up the things that I really loved, but they have so many things available. If you want to see everything else that they did have in the collection, I have actually uploaded photos of the stands in the shops on my collection video, so I will leave that linked below. If you want to see more, please follow me on Instagram. That's at Zoe Glitters over the why and also subscribe if you like beauty hair and makeup videos because i upload three times a week i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye